In 1905, seven men of the College of Agriculture at the University of Missouri organized a club. From this humble beginning grew the fraternity known as Farmhouse. In its history, the group endured depressions, wars, and financial problems. Despite these obstacles, the fraternity expanded to an international group. This tenacity and desire to succeed that characterizes Farmhouse can be traced to D. Howard Doan, the fraternity's founding father. In a remarkable professional career, Mr. Doan organized the National Joint Committee on Rural Credit and wrote two books. He established the first school of farm management in the United States at the University of Missouri and headed it for eight years. President Hoover appointed Mr. Doan to a subcommittee for reorganizing the United States Department of Agriculture. Mr. Doan was founder and chairman of Doan Agricultural Service, the first professional farm management service in the United States. He also helped to found the 4-H Foundation of Missouri. After his retirement, he established a school of agribusiness at the School of the Ozarks. Today, we want to ask Mr. Doan about the early years of the fraternity and his hopes for it in the future. Mr. Doan, what was the original purpose of the group that became known as Farmhouse? I think our basic idea in the beginning was friendship, fellowship, the effect of having a part with a group of men that were sincere, desired to accomplish what they went to the university to get, and creating an environment that it made it easy to try to do a good job yourself. The agricultural students were looked down on in those early days. And uh, I want to give the group a, a pat on the back for the sensible way in which they handled that situation. And out of that came, well, it's just a bunch of farmers. And that was derision. That's the one thing you shouldn't have said. And we said, well, we're proud to be farmers. Let's call ourselves farmers. And that's how it came about, just that way. Well, if they couldn't plague us with it, what did they get out of it? And uh, to make sure that they'd pick us out, why well, we, uh, we got a, uh, sent away and got a bunch of broad brim hats, no other on the campus like it, and we were definitely stamped. But we were proud of it. And so the plaguing just disappeared. <laughs> and that was a very satisfying experience. Yes, I'm a farmer. I hope you can see it. Every time you see a hat like mine, that's another one. I'd put number one on be honest. Do and live up to their best ideals. Uh, if they have to make decisions that make it appear that uh, it's going to be pretty hard to, to go through on this basis, but we'll stick to it. That's what will make a farm fraternity that's worthwhile, or any other group. And our boys had it. They were there for a purpose. They were all working their way through except one. And he was the top man of the whole bunch, scholastically. And uh, how would you live within a group of fellows like that and not have some of it rub off? It rubbed off on me. And I know that I can, 50 years later, I can tell you of incidents that go right back to that beginning where you had to make a decision and you had to make it on the thing that was right or wrong. Farmhouse has probably played one of, if not one of the half a dozen influences on my life that has stuck with me all the way through and has always been a help. It's never been an influence that pulled me down or finding shortcuts uh, to get around a rule or to undertake uh, something that wasn't quite up to par. If you're a farmhouse man, you do it honestly, you do it right, and you do it pleasantly. And you can't go very long if you believe that and live it. <laughs>
Can you? 